Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to Lori's Thrifty Kitchen Pantry. If you're new, welcome. Please feel free to hit the the subscribe button and the like button and hit the hit that notification bell and just make sure that the setting is set to all so that way you'll get new content when I post it. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm happy to have you back in, in my kitchen today. Uh, today's update, I uh, woke up still dealing with nausea. I am drinking ginger ale. I did check the ingredients. There is actually ginger extract in this. So... Uh, I, as bad as I feel, I do have to go out today, so I'm just trying to think how I'm going to do it. So we have to sign papers at the lawyer's office, and I have to go to the Social Security office to get my disability thing straightened out. So I have to do that today. It's the only day I got. So that's it for now. I'll... Be back later and let you know how my day went. Well, hello again, everyone. Man, what a busy morning. So I'm feeling a, a little better. My, I'm not quite so nauseated today. Um, I was when I first got up this morning, but for right now, we... Are doing good so I'm just reaching for my coffee here I had to turn my cup around so just now having my first cup of coffee and it's after you know, it's going I think around on around one o'clock in the afternoon so <clears throat> but I did get my all of my es estate taken care of not that I have had much but I got that paperwork all done and, and all signed and the attorney was really good. She, she had everything pretty much ready for us to just sign off on so that's all taken care of. I went to the social security office. Keep, keep your fingers crossed that my benefits get turned back on by the 3rd. So I know that's pushing it a little bit, but I did get get the missing paper in that, that they needed. Even though I had filled two of them out already, I had to go into the office and fill out another one. And he sent it right to my case manager and wrote, please expedite on it because I did tell him that I was... On hospice care and really needed those benefits to hit next month so so he he was really good uh, he got got had everything all filled out all I had to do was sign it it actually took longer sitting there waiting for my number to be called than it did, did for him to help me but I got that all taken care of and now I'm exhausted I'm going to work on my my coffee and I may I may take a short nap and then I will do do my Kroger haul haul from yesterday. I'll include that in this video. So that's it for right now. I'm I'm glad the nausea has went away at least for now because I really didn't did not feel good this morning. But yeah, for right now, I'm I'm feeling okay, so I think I'm going to relax here for a few minutes and catch up on my computer work and enjoy my coffee, and then I think that's about all I had to do for today. So I will get this going so I can get it edited and uploaded. Yesterday's video took forever to upload. I had to delete it twice and start over 
I don't know what was going on, but it, it was it was terrible trying to to get yesterday's update uploaded. So I think I think that's it. I'll I'll see you in a bit for the Kroger haul. Okay, guys, we're gonna start over here with our Kroger haul by my little drink refrigerator. So I went wanted to show you i did get some ginger ale which does really help some with the nausea and i checked the ingredients and it does have ginger extract in it and i had used up all of my water pretty much so i did get two cases of water um, I, I had that, the case of the little waters already, that came from the last food pantry trip I was able to make. And on top, I did get the Gatorade Zero, and I had, had gotten, uh, four packs of the Coke Zero that was on sale this week, and a pack of the berry-flavored water, along with... A carton of Coke Zero. But yeah, I wanted to show you guys because I take a lot of flack from viewers about drinking soda. I do have two shelves of different kinds of water in my fridge. And I put the Gatorade in, in my regular refrigerator because as you can see, this one's pretty well packed. But yes, I, I, as you can see, I do drink other things. Plus, I drink my low sweet tea in between times. So yes, there are times that you see me have soda. But as you can see, I do have plenty of water, which I'm glad for because it sounds like we're getting hit by a tropical storm or possibly a hurricane on by Tuesday. So keep your eye on the tropics and I'll keep you posted on that. So now let's get into the kitchen and I'll show you the rest of my haul. Okay, I turned the air conditioner off so we could hear better. So this is my Kroger haul for the month. The stuff in the the stuff back here is not part of the haul. So so I had already already shown that in a different video. So starting over here. I got two boxes of the au gratin potatoes. I really like those. Those make for a, a very easy meal. I can throw some chicken in it. I can uh, mix some broccoli in with it or smoke, uh, smoke sausage and broccoli. There's a lot I can do with that. Then I got an, a thing of Bertoli Alfredo sauce. I think, think this had a was part of the five for five. I'll I'll have to double check. Um, here yeah, I got a tomato soup and a double new chicken noodles. The the chicken double noodle soup. Uh, you can see I already had one in it. I, I was feeling so bad yesterday that uh, that was that was all I ate all day was a can of the chicken noodle soup. And I, I think I had a turkey sandwich to go with it, but that, that was it for the day. So I got a fresh loaf of bread. I got a box of cherry Pop-Tarts. And I got a box of Stouffer's macaroni and cheese. Please don't leave nasty comments about eating processed food. At this point, what I eat really isn't going to matter. And for days that I'm really sick, but I need something to eat, I can can just microwave this and have have something hot and something in my stomach. So I got one of those. I got a pack of cheese. I think I mentioned the bread. I got a loaf of fresh bread. I got two packs of cream cheese to use for recipes. I got some tapioca pudding, some chocolate pudding, and some black cherry jello, and some lemon lime jello for 
for days that I don't feel well. Then I got two packs of ground beef to use for recipes. I got some applesauce for, again, for upset stomach days. And I got a half gallon of milk, which was on sale. The only thing I got that I did not order was some chocolate milk. And I know chocolate milk has been low pretty much across the board at, at grocery stores. So I didn't get my chocolate milk, but that's okay. And so this is my Kroger haul for the week. Now let's go back to my computer and I will show you the total for everything I got. And just remember that, that the total is also going to include all of the cases of water and, and soda and the Gatorade. So just bear in mind, bear that in mind when I give you the total. All right, so let's look here at the computer, at my free seat. So the Jello was on sale to two for six dollars. Uh, the cheese was on sale. The soup was on sale. The Alfredo sauce was on sale. Uh, the, and my, the, all of the sodas that I got were on sale. The Gatorade was actually on sale. And so was, was the water and the milk, the cream cheese, the pop tarts, and the, the, ground beef. So I think the only things that were not on sale was the macaroni and cheese and the bread. So my total came to $131.87. The coupons and sale items that they took off came to this they took off $31.17. The delivery fee was free. And there was $2.92 on tax. So my total came to, after they took everything off, came went, it went from $131.87 down to a hundred and three dollars and sixty two cents so that that's pretty good and i used one of my gift cards so i was actually only charged three dollars and sixty two cents for my groceries so that was an amazing saving so thank you to the person whose gift certificate i used i still have three other ones in my email so i just so appreciate the grocery gift cards you guys have no idea how much that helps so my total savings for this grocery order was 41 dollars and 12 cents so i'm i'm just so grateful that i was able to get those groceries and i had got was able to get things for the nausea and upset stomach. I was able to get water because, yes, it does sound like we are getting a storm of some kind on by Tuesday. So I will be keeping a close watch on the tropics. And let's just pray that it doesn't get too bad at this point. They don't know how much strength it's going to gain once it hits the Gulf waters because the water is, temperature is so warm at, at this point. They just don't know what this storm is going to do. So just pray for those in this, that are will be in this path. Uh, it looks like it's going to come right o over the state, which means it will come right over my county. So just keep praying for those who will be in the path of the storm and pray that, that the storm does not get 
as bad as what they're saying it could get. So I th think that's it for the updates. I am just spent the afternoon resting and I worked on a coloring page and watched some of the channels that I usually watch in the mornings because of, I had to go out to get all of this paperwork stuff done. It is a relief to know that that, that stuff's all taken care of. And I just thank you guys so much for your love and support with the mess from yesterday. I just am feeling so much love from you guys. I just... You have no no idea how full, full my heart is with all of the support you guys have given me. I just really appreciate it. And I am just praying so hard that this person gets gets the help that she evidently desperately needs so I, I'm just really praying that God puts someone in her path that can that can help her so that's it for today's update I will end this by saying be safe be happy be blessed and I will see you all on the next video. Bye!